Hi there, welcome to Campus Spotlight. I'm your host, Livingston Farron. Uh, today I'm joined by Brian Blanco, who is the leader of the on-campus club, Humans vs. Zombies. Yeah, thank you for having me. <laughs> now, uh, Brian, let's start with the obvious question for the people back home. Uh, what is Humans vs. Zombies? Well, we are the largest social club here on campus, and we like to hold a bunch of Nerf and zombie themed events throughout the semester just to kind of, you know, de stress and have fun. Well, that sounds interesting to say the least. We've got a clip right here to give the people at home an inside look into why college students all across the country love this latest trend. The Walking Dead has been airing on AMC since Halloween 2010. The show, which follows a band of characters trying to survive the zombie apocalypse, has made zombie culture a prevalent interest among many college age students. One of the best ways students express their interests in this particular genre is by playing an immersive game called Humans vs. Zombies. Humans vs. Zombies can be found on campuses all around the country, and we were able to speak with the head moderator from Hofstra University in Long Island, New York. Humans vs. Zombies is one of the most amazing games I've ever played. It is a chance for people to get together and reenact certain scenarios, say, if you ended up in the zombie apocalypse. If I had to tell non-players some things about our club, it would be twofold. For anybody who doesn't go to Hofstra, see what other Humans vs. Zombies organizations are in your area. Give it a try. Have some fun. And for those of us on campus who do not play HVZ, we welcome anybody who has that same purpose. I think my favorite thing about Hofstra vs. Zombies is that at the end of the day, we really are a family. We may like some people in the club more than we like other people in the club, but when it comes right down to it, you would defend every single person there in a heartbeat. Everybody gets along. Everybody comes together for the common purpose of playing this awesome game. Everybody's just in it to have fun. I can sure see why people love it. Uh, now, besides what you've already told me, uh, what are some of other crazy immersive events that Humans vs. Zombies runs here on campus? Oh, we have plenty. We have our ground war events, we have our night outs, we have our video game tournaments, and of, of course our big game, which we hold once a semester. Okay, now that's a lot of events, Brian, so you got to tell me, which one is your favorite? Uh, definitely the big game. It's a lot of fun. <laughs> Can you tell me a little more about it? Oh yeah, sure. It's uh, six days long. It goes out 24 hours of the day. It starts with uh, one original zombie who infects the whole horde, and from there, all the humans just try and survive out the week. You go to class, you have to carry a Nerf gun with you, otherwise you have to worry about uh, dying. And uh, if you just want to go get food, go to the gym, anything, just walking around campus, you have to worry about someone running up behind you and tagging you. Now, you, do you mean literally or metaphorically dying? Oh, well, metaphorically, of course. You don't want to kill anybody. Well, geez, I'm not sure I'd be able to survive that. Uh, we got some footage to show just how intense these events can get. Let's take a look. Every semester, Hofstra vs. Zombies puts on a lot of amazing events for the Hofstra community. At least once a month, we will have an event on a weekend, just last one day, called a Ground War, where people will get together, play Capture the Flag style games, play a bunch of different other style games. Once every semester, we have our big game, which is a six-day, 24-7 straight game of Zombie Apocalypse Mayhem. Everyone starts out as a human, except for one original zombie. And during the first two days, they can walk around unmarked, tagging humans, building up a small horde. Then, at the end of the second day, there is actually a midnight mission. Everybody comes out, all the blasters, the little nerf swords, the fun stuff comes out. And people partake in an amazing mission. The humans have to complete an objective, the zombies have to kill humans, build up the horde, and it's a fun time for everybody to just get out and be themselves. It's an amazing, amazing time. That looks insane. If you're anything like me, you're now much more concerned about your own safety against zombies. Brian here is going to give us a hands-on demonstration of how to defend yourself. Well, during the big game, when you're trying to survive the zombie apocalypse, you're going to want to get one of these nerf blasters. Uh, basically, it's your only way to really defend yourself from zombies other than a melee weapon, which is the same thing. And you have to shoot a zombie with one of these nerf darts to stun them for 15 minutes. So, all you gotta do is just, you know, pull it back and shoot. And um, if you see someone running around, and they have a nice bright colored bandana on their head, that's how you know there's a zombie. Now, I gotta ask you, before we go any further, uh, do you have license, uh, license for these? 
Uh, I do not, but let's keep it on the down low because I don't want to get in trouble or anything. But um, yeah, so if you do happen to see somebody with a bright colored bandana, what you do is you take your Nerf Blaster, shoot them, and then they're now stunned for 15 minutes. So you're free to, you know, go get some food or go to the gym and go wherever you're going. And you don't really have to worry about them as much anymore, but you might want to still watch your back. So anybody with a brightly colored bandana? Uh, well, it's supposed to be anyone wearing the bright colored bandanas, but there's always people walking around campus who just wear it as a fashion statement, who always just randomly get well, shot. Well, if Brett Michaels is here, he better watch out. <laughs> well, exactly. I know what I'm looking for when the zombies start coming after me. Uh, thank you for your time, Brian, and thank you for joining us for another episode of Campus Spotlight. I'm Livingston Farron, and goodbye. Oh.